St. Lucia's management of COVID-19 registered a major success this week for the first time. Since the third wave of the virus, the island registered zero new cases and the lowest number of active cases. On Tuesday, April 20, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness reported no new cases of COVID-19 from a batch of 119 samples taken during the period April 17, 2021 to April 19, 2021. These samples were processed on April 19, 2021. The Ministry of Health also received confirmation of the recovery of five individuals diagnosed with COVID-19, bringing the total number of active cases in country to date to 80. Meantime, Health Minister Senator Honorable Mary Isaac says government continues to provide necessary resources to the national fight against the pandemic. Honorable Isaac was at the time addressing the Senate sitting on the 2021-2022 appropriation bill. Since March 2021, $10 million was added to the budget for the COVID-19 response. This will be used, Madam President, to augment the budget to cover outstanding payments for quarantine, for respiratory hospital civil works, the rehabilitation of Cassidy's Wellness Center, among other activities. Madam President, the government of St. Lucia has also sourced 13 million euros to assist with the COVID response, which will include the setting up of two isolation units, one in the north and one in the south of the island, as well as improving the physical capacity of the Ezra Long Laboratory by a build-out for blood bank and serology department. This source of funding will also include the rehabilitation of the extra warehouse space for central procurement, thereby increasing the capacity for storage of personal protective equipment and pharmaceuticals. The complete proposed project activities, Madam President, totals $46.1 million. Several capital projects are also being undertaken in a bid to strengthen the healthcare system. Emergency response for COVID-19, the budget is $31.1 million. And that funding is coming from World Bank and the Development Policy Credit. Health System Strengthening Project, Madam President, that's a budget of $8.8 .8 million. And that, again, is funded by World Bank IDA. The OECS Regional Health Project, with a budget of $2.67 million, funded by World Bank. The new National Hospital Commissioning, the budget, 12,985,000. Construction of Denry Polyclinic with a budget of 18 million, funded by World Bank. Construction of Miku Wellness Center with a budget of 1.2 million. That's US, Madam President. 3.2 million EC, funded by World Bank. Rehabilitation of Sufre Hospital, 5.6 million dollars again funded by World Bank. We have the World Bank Health System Strengthening Project at 20 million US dollars over a four-year period. Electrical works were carried out at the Zufre Hospital costing $147,000.